It is 25 degrees this morning here in Central PA. We are building a little 7 by 10 Simplicity Series pond. This is our gravel, all bagged, mulch is all bagged, rock is all palletized. So we come in there and we set these skids off with a machine, make as little damage in the yard as possible. The landscape center uh, ended up not being able to take it to delivery, so we'll have to do it ourselves. Dead? Dead. Oh. Come on, girl. Come on. Woohoo! Little cold. This is Dave, by the way. He's the one that sold this baby. We're gonna make some people really happy today. The rest of the guys are getting out on different jobs. Right down here's our Aquascape product. So everything we need to build this pond's in this box right here. Every job gets a folder. In that folder is a sheet with all the specs and uh, any notes that were decided on site with the initial consultation visit from the, with the designer and the homeowner. It's gonna be good to drive this baby again. This is my truck. This is my girl. Woohoo! Nothing like a Duramax. Alright, we're here, folks. Get our stuff unloaded and get started. Marius, right here. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. And this is YouTube. Do you want to shake its hand? Okay. <laughs> okay, so we are all staged, ready to start digging here. Marius is setting up the laser, and uh, right here is the pond. So the line that you see right here is the future patio. It's like a 15 to 20 patio here from the back of the house. And right here goes our 7 by 10 Simplicity Series Koi Pond. The waterfall is going to be over there on that end. You know, the waterfalls will be facing this back patio area, and there are big windows there. So they get viewing from both inside and outside. Is it April Fool's today? April 1. You got to be kidding. No. It's real! <laughs> All right, so before we get the excavation done, we're gonna get those biofalls in place. I'm just gluing this pipe in. This pipe is cold, and when it is cold, it is so stiff, you can't bend it. There we go, let that set up for a little bit. So we're gonna place this thing right here on the edge of the pond. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of digging to get this dirt out of the way, and then we'll place it and put some dirt around it. So we got this skimmer box pretty much stuck together. We got the bulkheads in it, the pump's all assembled, check valves on it. I'm gonna slide this thing in there. See, the pump just sits there in the bottom of the skimmer, just like that. This is a little support for this filter mat. It goes in there like that. The filter mat gets plopped in, and then that keeps any debris from getting down to the pump and plugging the pump up. So that stays in there like that. Next, we are, once we plop this thing into place, we're gonna seal the liner onto the face with this thing that Jason's holding. And then this gets mounted on the inside, and that catches all the debris. So it's a pre-filter. So first, any leaves and junk get caught in this basket, which you can easily pull out and dump out. Then this this finer filter yet that protects the pump from getting logged, uh, plugged up with any kind of sludge or anything. So that's that. Let's go place this thing. Put this thing right there. I've already got this set to the proper height. Just gotta get a level and make sure that's installed level. We're gonna backfill it and run the plumbing from the biofalls right into that skimmer. All right, slather that baby up. I mean, you don't have to get all fancy like that. We're not doing makeup. Oh, come on. <laughs> all right, we're professional here. Okay, good. Let's, let's glue this one in too, the overflow. This pipe's the overflow. We're just gonna put it back out here. If it ever rains so much that the water level comes up too high, this will allow that extra water to escape. Yeah, 
Yeah, trying to build ponds of wind has its own set of challenges. This pipe is so stiff we can't bend it to get it where we need it to go and it just wants to pop out of the fitting. So, thankfully we have a ready heater. We're heating it up so we can flex it around easier. Okay, we got the rough draft of our first shelf dug out and paint out the second one. One more. Okay, we got the excavation done. Gonna get our underlayment in, then our liner, hook up that, seal that liner to the skimmer and then the biofalls, and then it's time for rocks, baby. First rock. this pond completely rocked in. We're just doing the final finishing touches, putting gravel in, positioning our lights. We're gonna start washing this thing down, washing all the gravel and the rocks off so we get clear water, as clear as possible anyway from the beginning. Start doing our edge treatment and we'll be able to plug this thing in within hopefully 30 minutes. Ah, no, wait, we gotta fill that. It's gonna take a while. It'll be an hour. Okay, folks, pond is all rinsed down. It is filling up right down there right now. We're just finishing up the details with the edge work and uh, hiding the biofalls up there. And we're ready to plug this thing in. Okay, we got this pond done. All we're doing is waiting on that water to fill up. There's low water pressure here, so it's taking a while. But unfortunately, we gotta keep rolling. I'm happy how it turned out. It's a beautiful little koi pond, and uh, the homeowners are in love with it. So, see you when this thing is blooming with flowers and plants. Wow, look how warm and sunny it is. Last time we were here, there was snow on the ground. It was cold, really cold. Sure didn't look like this around here. But these people have built a new home. So when we were here building the pond, everything was still like, there was no lawn, no, nothing was seeded, no landscaping was done. And so we built the pond and then they, since then, since we were here, they've put this patio in back here. They've done all this landscaping around here. So it's looking really good. Without further ado, what do you think? Here's the pond. 